Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and this is episode number 54 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning in to today's show. It's been over a month since our last episode, and I talked about the new features in Lightroom 4. I know many of you are thinking, where'd the channel go? You stopped making videos. What happened to you? Well, I haven't stopped making videos. I've been very busy doing work for LairsMagazine.com. I've also posted some videos over on PSD Tuts Plus. But I'm back here on the channel giving you videos on a regular basis. Check out the new digs. So if you want to stay up to date with me on a daily basis, be sure to join me on Facebook. That's simply AJWood.com slash Facebook to chat me with me every day. Today, I've got a quick Photoshop tip for you. Comes from my good friend, Justin Seely. Let's go ahead and take a look. You can see on the screen, I've actually got Photoshop side by side with my browser. And my tip for you is related to the eyedropper. You're just gonna click on the eyedropper tool or press I for the eyedropper. And if you press and hold your mouse, you can see that I can sample colors directly out of the photograph. The bottom of the ring shows my current color, which is black. And then, of course, the top of the ring shows any color I'm going to pick up out of the photograph. What most people don't know is you can simply drag this eyedropper outside of Photoshop onto your desktop into another application. And now I'm actually picking up colors from this website. So this is Geek Beat TV, and if I wanted to know what color Callie's shirt was, I can pick that color off her shirt. I can pick colors from the buttons on the page. I can even pick up colors from advertisements. Once I have the color I want, I just simply let go of the mouse, and you can see now I have that red color from the website, and I can paint with it. So that has been a quick tip inside of Photoshop. I want to thank Justin for passing along that tip to me. You can find him at justinseely.com. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. I'm here every week with new tutorials just for you. If this one helped you out, give it a thumbs up, like it on Facebook, and I'll see you next time.